In this video, we are going to investigate what it means to put an Adams information into standard atomic notation. So first, let's just take a look at uh, your average atom on the periodic table. Let's look at fluorine. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of information in the box for fluorine. So the first thing is we've got our name for fluorine, followed by our symbol of fluorine. Our atomic number for fluorine is 9. Now, I want to point out that uh, the atomic number represents the number of protons uh, for each atom. So every atom on the periodic table has its own unique atomic number. And of course, that's how the uh, periodic table is arranged by atomic number from 1 to 118 and so forth. Next thing I'd like to point out is the average atomic mass of an atom. Uh, so in this case, it's 18.99. And what we're going to do for our purposes today is we're going to round uh, this number either up or down, whatever is convenient. And it will be most convenient to round up to 19, which in fact is going to represent our mass number. Now, the mass of an atom is the uh, number of protons added together with the number of neutrons. Now, electrons are so light, they're not considered to uh, give any mass to an atom. Now, the last piece of information in this box is going to be the charge of your atom. And uh, for fluorine, it's minus one. So let's take a look at uh, what we need to do to uh, create a standard atomic notation for an element. First thing you'll need is a symbol. Let's use fluorine. So we know that fluorine's atomic number is 9 from the previous slide. We also learned about the mass number, which is the protons plus the neutrons, which gives us 19. So once we sorted out that information, uh, I should also point out that this atom has 9 protons. Um, there's no information leading me to believe that there's a charge on this atom, so it must have the same number of electrons. And if we want to figure out the neutrons, all we need to do is subtract 19 minus 9, giving us 10 neutrons. So what happens if uh, our example has a charge? How does that affect the uh, subatomic particles? Well, let's take a look at fluorine, and this time I've added a minus 1 charge to it. So what does that do for the subatomic particles? Well, fluorine's number 9. That means it's always going to have 9 protons. Now, what that minus 1 means is that we have an extra electron. We have one more electron than proton. So if we have 9 protons, we have one more electron. That must mean we have 10 electrons. And for us to figure out the neutrons is still 19 minus 9, giving us 10 neutrons. So what if we have an example where we've got an overall positive value? Well, all that means is that we have more protons than electrons. So calcium, which is number 20 on the periodic table, must have 20 protons. So if we have more protons and we have two more protons, that's what the plus 2 is, of course, indicating here then we must simply have 18 electrons. So that's 20 positives, 18 minuses. That leaves us with an overall net charge of plus two. And lastly, figuring out the neutrons is once again, 40 minus 20, giving us 20 neutrons. Thank you very much.